Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, triangle ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, its side length uh, AC is uh, 52, the other side length BC is uh, 40, and moreover, uh, this uh, line segment uh, AD is equal to this uh, line segment uh, BD, and this uh, angle uh, BDC is uh, 45 uh, degrees and now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, abc please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step let's go ahead and drop a perpendicular from this uh, point uh, c onto this horizontal line uh, ab as you can see in this uh, next uh, diagram and we have uh, this angle uh, 90 degrees let me go ahead and label uh, this uh, perpendicular ce as our height uh, lowercase uh, h and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, dec we know the sum of the angles uh, in a triangle must be equal to 180 degrees so therefore uh, this angle has got to be 45 uh, degrees and now we can see that this uh, is our isosceles uh, triangle since uh, this angle is equal to this angle so therefore uh, this side length has got to be equal to this side length uh, de if this side length is h then uh, this side length has got to be h as well and now we know that this uh, d is our uh, midpoint Let's assume that this uh, whole uh, line segment AD is uh, X. Likewise, this uh, line segment uh, BD is going to be X as well. Then this uh, line segment EB is uh, going to be X minus uh, this uh, line segment, which is uh, H. So I'm going to write down X minus H. And likewise, this whole... Uh, line segment AE is going to be X plus H. Let me go ahead and write down X plus H. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this right triangle AEC. So therefore, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. Let me go ahead and call this horizontal side as our side A. This side I'm going to call B and our longest leg as side C. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in the Pythagorean formula. A in our case is X plus H whole square. B in our case is H. So it's going to be H square equal to C is 52 whole square. And now let's recall this famous identity A plus B whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus b square i'm going to apply it uh, on this uh, first uh, binomial so therefore this could be written as uh, x uh, square plus uh, 2 times x h uh, plus uh, h square and then plus h square again equal to 52 square is uh, 2704 and now let's go ahead and combine these uh, like terms so therefore we can write uh, x square plus uh, 2h square plus uh, 2 times uh, xh equal to 2704. Let me call this our equation number 1. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this another right triangle uh, BEC now whose uh, side lengths are uh, x minus h h and 40 and we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem once again and here's our Pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and call our longest leg as our side c i'm gonna call this side a and this side b so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula a in our case is x minus h whole square b is h so it's going to become h square equal to c is 40 so this is going to become 40 square and now let's recall another famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2ab plus b square 
we are going to apply it uh, on this uh, very first binomial. So therefore, uh, this is going to become uh, x square minus uh, 2 times x h plus uh, h square and then plus uh, h square equal to 1600 on the right hand side. And now let's go ahead and combine these uh, like terms h square plus h square. So therefore we are going to have uh, x square plus uh, 2 times h square minus uh, 2 times x h equal to 1600. Let me go ahead and call this our uh, equation uh, 2. So thus we are ended up with these uh, two equations, number 1 and number 2. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and subtract uh, equation uh, 2 from this equation uh, 1. And here I have copied down equations 1 and 2. So let's go ahead and subtract. So I'm going to change the sign at the bottom. So this is going to become minus, uh, minus, uh, negative is going to become positive and this uh, minus and we can see that uh, this cancels with this one this cancels with this one so we ended up with the uh, four times uh, x uh, h equals to 1104 let's divide both sides by four to isolate uh, x uh, h so this four and four is gone so our x uh, h uh, value turns out to be 276. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, big triangle uh, ABC. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, base times uh, height. In our case, our height is uh, H. And our this uh, whole uh, base uh, AB is going to be X. Uh, plus x is going to give us uh, 2 times x. So therefore the area of this uh, triangle ABC is going to be a half times uh, our base is uh, 2 times x and our height is uh, h. And now we can see this 2 and 2 is uh, gone. So therefore our area is going to be equal to x uh, times uh, h but we know we already figured out uh, x times h is uh, 276 so therefore I'm going to replace this uh, x h by 276 so therefore the area of this triangle uh, a b c turns out to be 276 so thus the area of this uh, triangle a b c turns out to be 276 square units Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.